What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, haven't made a video in forever because I've been very busy with life, but um, little update here. I got some cool parts for the for the GTI. I got perforated leather, 20th GLI steering wheel plus the e-brake with the aluminum button and some roof racks that I hope that I hope work. I don't know if they're for a four door or two door or not, but got them off my buddy Sheen for a good deal. So, um, first things first, got to put that Jimmy Oak sticker on. Boom. I ended up uh, picking up a new vehicle for a good deal. There's the battery for it gonna be showing you guys that in this video because it's been sitting forever it needs to get washed so I bought a new vehicle it is a truck it is a four-wheel drive truck boom good old OBS Ford four-wheel drive been sitting for like two years it's my girlfriend's dad's old company truck but I just uh, just put a battery in it. I got it home. AC kicks. I didn't even touch it. And uh, things sweet. I'm gonna show you around it. So most OBSs and shit like that are rotted. Barely any surface rust on the corners. Rockers, clean as can be. Frame, super clean. And same same with the other side bed also really clean rust wise I mean this side's a little bad because there's a big old dent in it but it is what it is this side's clean barely any rust not too bad and uh this whole video is gonna be me like cleaning it up, power washing it. Like it needs it needs gone through because it's been sitting forever, but it's got a good platform basically. Here's the interior. This needs a great detail on it. Starts right up. 165, 468,000 miles. Ooh. She purrs. Pop the hood. Smoked a little bit. And that might just be because it was sitting forever or it just smokes a little bit, so what are you gonna do? Here's the motor. 5-0 baby. So when I went to go buy this, my girlfriend's tab was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a straight six. I was like, alright, whatever, like I'm just gonna lift it, put it on some wheels, pop the hood, 5-0. I was like, shit. So I told him and he was like, oh, that's an extra 200 bucks. I was like, nah. Yeah, basically, you guys are gonna see the process of building this thing. Well, not building it, but making it cooler. Lifting it on some wheels. Cleaning it up tomorrow, cause I got off work for no reason. But I'm gonna power wash it, clean the whole thing all day, basically. And uh, yeah, give you a little exhaust clip. smoky but oh well all right I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow when I'm cleaning this thing up all right what's up guys it's the next day and uh, now we're gonna get to washing whitey no I'm just kidding now we're gonna get to wash a uh, new truck here's the before Probably just gonna time lapse it anyway, so you'll see it. Now, cut to the time lapse.
on the road. Drives nice and smooth. Oh. <laughs> you didn't get it out on video? Panel just flew off. The AC is ripping. <laughs> We're going to get some gas. We got no tags on it, so hopefully oh a cop's God. not behind me. Why doesn't the turn signal go off? This thing does not feel good at all. The trans feel so bad. Okay, now that we got this baby washed off, I'm gonna hit it with some, uh, I'm gonna wax it with the chemical guys waxed and i'm just giving it a nice tire shine so jess has helped me uh clean the truck and stuff so i was like all right can you clean the windshield since she likes cleaning the glass for some reason she hops up on the hood how disrespectful can she get popping dents in this hood so this is it without the um chemical guys chemical guys speed wipe Hoping this stuff might come off, probably not. But there's still a lot of imperfections in the paint, but I'm hoping this brings back the shine that brings back a little bit of the shine at least. Alright, so here is the final product of the truck. Spray detailed and washed. Nothing crazy. Definitely looks a lot better. And me and Jess still have to tackle the interior which is next up on the list and Jess is cleaning the door jams and stuff because it's bothering her and it's very dirty but the whole thing needs like carpet cleaned and everything the seat is gross but definitely happy so far with what it's turned out to be and uh, I'm just glad the AC works really got to get in there get in there good nice and hard <laughs> all right so after about an hour of scrubbing and cleaning you can see through the glass Jess uh, got all this stuff off I try to leave them on just because there's holes in the dash and stuff but and door jams are all clean all cleaned up we're gonna vacuum right now i don't have any carpet cleaner i should go get it but i silk shined all the dash and the steering wheel and looks pretty good it doesn't smell like mold anymore so now we're gonna carpet now we're gonna vacuum the carpet and uh then we'll be done and this thing's gonna look sweet All right, about about uh, <laughs> about two hours later, two and a half actually, it's done. Beginning of the video it looked like shit. Now it looks amazing. Uh oh. Found out where this is leaking from. Good thing I washed that wheel. It's got a leak in the tire right there. You see where it's bubbling? It's where you know where the leak is. So this tailgate wasn't, it's not, it's spray painted, so it's not gonna look good. Bed turned out decent. I found a bed cover on Facebook for like a hundred bucks, so I might get that, but looks great. Runs decent. Here's the interior. Interior cleaned up good. Still gotta like shampoo the carpet and stuff like that. Not bad for 300 bucks. So, and the door shut. That's like a, that's like a rare thing. Um, so, uh, plans for it are lift it, wheels and tires, drive it every day. Not every day, but drive it when I want and uh, yeah if you want to see the process of building this 
like, comment, subscribe, you know? Oh, and also, uh, probably gonna get it tinted soon, too. Tent, lift, wheels, tires. Call it a day. When the trans goes, shift kit, you know. Snowball effect. Alright, peace.